live. Yay. Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we realize that Johnny hasn't spent much time on this channel before. I think the last time you were on the Learning the Harp channel was when we announced that we were engaged. Yeah. <laughs> Jeebus. So we have to change this. Now we have a reason. <laughs> Yes, yes, indeed. So um, Johnny has to teach uh, teach some guitar students at some point, so he'll be leaving us at mm -hmm. some point probably. Um, but we have some questions printed out from those of you who sent in questions beforehand. And thank you so much for all the congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be sharing this news with you. And thanks for joining us for this live stream. Yeah. But I realized that um, we've been talking a lot about our baby um, using pronouns, which would give away whether it's a boy or a girl. And we're so used to it that I realized we need to do the gender reveal part of this live stream at the beginning so we don't give away the gender of this baby mm -hmm. <laughs> and like ruin the fun. So I think we're going to start with that. But shall we have a quick look at what people are saying in the comments? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. People are, are um, saying, it's a boy, it's a girl. All the guesses, very happy for you. Oh, thank you. Thanks for joining and, and being happy with us. <laughs> um, Someone said in um, when they saw the the thumbnail mm -hmm. of the two of us that they thought you look that we both looked terrified. <laughs> oh, are you terrified to have a baby? No, 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 no. <laughs> like really excited, really excited. <laughs> it's going to be a big life change. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I mean, yeah, like we are aware of that. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to it. Um, many of you will know what we say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we know it's not necessarily going to be just like all smooth sailing, but we're super excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, they're saying congrats on your baby girl, or I want you to have a girl, but it's probably a boy. So shall we get to the gender reveal part? So I'll tell you what our plan is. Okay, shall we get them to do like a drum roll in the comments? <laughs> well, it's going to take a little while because we're going to uh, answer some baby gender myths and see uh, whether the myths point towards us having a girl or a boy. Um, but maybe we must just keep on getting um, some some of you voting. Like, do you think it's a girl or a boy? <laughs> um, so I've printed out, um, Glenda put these together for me very kindly. We did some research on what are the myths that people usually think show whether you're going to have a girl or a boy. We already know, so this is not a reveal for us, but it's a reveal for you. Um, and then we're going to just move over slightly. We're going to tally up whether the signs show that we're having a girl or a boy. Mm -hmm. And then when we've gone through all the myths and we've tallied up, we've got some safety pins here. Mm -hmm. And Johnny and I are going to go and pop all the balloons that are the wrong color. And then you'll be left with, yay, that is whether the baby is a boy or a girl. <laughs> so that's the plan. And then we'll have those that particular color balloons giving us the background for the rest of the live Ooh, stream. <laughs> yeah. Um, can we see you on the side to see your tummy? Maybe I can tell you if it's a boy or a girl. Okay, so I guess then the first thing, we've, if, if I show you my tummy, then you're going to see that I'm I'm quite a bit further along than some of, some of you are thinking that I'm, I'm near the very beginning of my pregnancy. But um, I guess it just took a little while. I was ready to tell you like quite a while ago, but I was trying to figure out like how to tell you and how to reveal this and just being busy with so many other things. So our baby is actually due... Um, the in May, so I'm quite far along. How how far along are we now? You are coming up to 29 weeks. Yeah, so there is a tummy to show you. Oh, let's see. How do I? There we go. I think you can see that. Ooh. There's the tummy. <laughs> so I don't know whether that looks like a boy tummy or a girl tummy. Um, it's kind of like perfectly rounded. Eh? <laughs> So I don't think I'm necessarily carrying super low or I don't know if that's carrying high. Tell me, those of you who are experts. Um, but let's talk about some baby gender myths. Okay. So have my cravings been sweet? Then it would indicate that I'm having a girl. Uh -huh. Or have my cravings been savory? And ha or have I had cravings? What do you think, Johnny? 
Sure. They all think it's a girl bump. <laughs> uh, you have had cravings, but it's like, it's like, I don't think you've ever had like any cravings where you were absolutely desperate. You had to have like, you know, in South Africa, we have something called biltong, which is like dried meat, which is amazing. Which a lot of people say you're not supposed to have during pregnancy anyway. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, but I don't think you've actually craved that. But No. Um, so like, yeah, I didn't answer the question, but um, I think there have been times where you've craved some chocolate, but I mean, your cravings haven't been massive. I think I've been more wanting savory things. Mm. Like, remember when I wanted samosas? Oh, uh, yeah. That was probably the closest to a full-on craving. I haven't had, yeah. like, intense cravings. But every now and then, I'm like, wow, I really need something properly savory. So mm, Yeah, true. So yeah. that would point towards boy. So do you want to give us a, a tick or a cross or something on the boy side? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Does everyone see that? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> you can kind of see it, too. Eh? Okay. Um, the, the next one is: Have I had heartburn? If yes, girl. If no, boy. Yeah, I think I did heartburn. have some heartburn. Yeah, it hasn't been mind. ongoing, and it hasn't been very intense. But I have had some, so that would give us a girl point. Yeah. Have I had a lot of morning sickness? If yes, girl. If no, boy. I've had a little bit of morning sickness, mostly just um, earlier, slightly earlier on in my pregnancy, um, even into the second actually. trimester, but it was always just related to brushing my teeth. Like, you've had quite a bit, so I think I would... Not uh, compared to, the, I don't know, uh, I mean, people end up with nausea the whole time or like vomiting all day, and I just had a little bit in the mornings and not for the whole pregnancy. These are just so, myths, right? So, so which one? Yeah, is so I would say that I haven't had a lot of morning okay. sickness. So I would say no, which is boy. Okay. okay. Yeah. Have I been alert and steady, girl, or tired and clumsy, boy? I, th I think you've been more tired, eh? <laughs> Have I been clumsy? <laughs> um, no, no, you're not clumsy. Yeah, I have been quite tired. Um, I mean, you've steady still been versus fairly, clumsy. You've still been fairly alert and steady. Yeah, I think we should give the girl a point for this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they're they're all thinking it's a girl now. <laughs> okay. Um, am I carrying high girl or low boy? So having shown my tummy. It seems like everyone thinks it's a girl tummy. So let's give a girl point. <laughs> okay. Have my feet swelled at all? I yeah, a little bit. Eh? I, they've been sore, but they haven't swelled. Oh. So. I'll show you. Well, my foot size, my shoe size hasn't changed. Oh, fine. Okay. And I, my and my my ankles aren't swelling out of my socks. <laughs> So, what is that? so if they have not swelled, it's a girl point. Oh wow! Are my feet always cold? Yes, boy. No, girl. I don't think I've complained of cold feet at all. So mm. another girl point. Is that a girl yeah. point again? Yeah. Wow, okay. Has Johnny gained any weight? Now's well, your time to answer. I gained some weight and then I lost some weight. So overall, I would say you haven't gained weight. No. But yeah, but that's a boy. Eh? I don't think Johnny spontaneously randomly Isn't gained a boy, weight. Was a girl? That's a that's a uh, boy point. Yeah, but yeah. Johnny's gaining and losing weight was more according to exercise and eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So what else? This is to do with baby's heart rate. Is the baby's heart rate above 140 or below 140? I think usually when we've gone for the heart rate, it's been above. Yeah. Above, yeah. So that's a boy point. The boy, the boy points are catching up, eh? Yeah. <laughs> do I fall asleep on the right side, girl, <laughs> or left side, boy? <laughs> are you laughing at these myths? <laughs> yeah. So I fall asleep on the left side mostly, but that's because... Google told me that that's the best side to sleep on when you're pregnant. But I do also turn over and I try not to lie on my back because Google tells you that it's not a good idea. Um, I have one of those big pregnancy pillows, the ones that are U-shaped that go like all the way around your body mm -hmm. because I was lying with 
pillow between my knees and a pillow between my arms. And then every time I turned over, it was such a mission and I was getting really uncomfortable. Um, and so now I'm taking up a lot of the bed space. But Johnny's been very gracious about it. Hey, you don't mm -hmm. mind my pregnancy pillow. Mm -mm. Fine. <laughs> um, so I think I'm like falling asleep on the left side. So that's a boy point. Is it a boy point? Yeah, but it's very intentional. It's not just randomly happening. Is the uh, Have I been feeling moody? Or chilled. So this is, I think, one for the husband to answer. Mm. <laughs> I think I think like a bit moody. I'd say. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then it's a girl one. I'm quite surprised because um, compared to what I've seen on social media of how moody you can be when you're pregnant, I think. It's been very mild. Yeah. But every now and then I'm just like feeling overwhelmed or a bit sadder than normal. But it's been pretty mild. Um, someone is very, Lynn 20 TV is very passionately saying, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, Chantel still uses a pregnancy pillow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've had a friend who who just had a baby recently and she said that her husband loves the pregnancy pillow so much. Now that, now that the baby's come, he's using it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to try and go quicker because we've got a few more left. Has my foot size increased? Yes, boy, no, girl. No. Okay, so that's a girl point. Has my skin texture been dry, boy, or soft, girl? My skin has been better than usual, so I would say let's give a girl a point. Am I hairier than usual? Hairier? I'm aware. <laughs> I mean, my hair on my head is not falling out like as much as it used to, so it's got thicker. Um, but I'm not hairier in other places. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't really know how to answer that question. You've got to tell me, is that, is that a, a yes boy or a no girl when my hair on my head has been hairier? Um, have I had any headaches? No. So that's a girl point. Is my complexion clear or have I had breakouts? My complexion's been clearer than normal. So that's a boy point. We didn't add the point for the... For the hair part, somewhere. yeah, because I'm I'm waiting for them to tell me whether whether hair on my head counts as being hairier. <laughs> oh man, hi Naomi, it's so nice to see you here. <laughs> Welcome everybody, thanks for joining us. If I haven't already said hi, this is really fun, and um, it's fun to be celebrating with you because this has been something that we've known about for a long time, and people in our real life have known about, but. I haven't had the chance to talk to you about it yet, so it's really nice to have this moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we've got just a few more baby myths and then a baby gender myths, and then we'll go through some of your questions as well. Um, okay, so Doreen's saying it doesn't count. You can get extra hair on your stomach. Carrie says, I think no. Okay, so that's a no then for being hairier than usual. No, so that's a, a, no, that's a girl point. Are you sure about that? I'm yeah, sure. it says, are you hairier than usual? Yes, boy, no, girl. Oh, wow. So it's a girl point. So did you already put one there? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Um, have I got a wide baby bump or a narrow popping forward baby bump? Mine has been wide. So right from the beginning, people were surprised that I was pregnant, but I looked like I was just putting on weight. It didn't really go forward for quite a long time. Yeah, and I was like, true. no one's going to know I'm pregnant. They're just going to think I'm getting fat. But I had to like you know, humble myself and be like, well, even if I was getting fat, who says that's a bad thing? <laughs> so that's a, that's so a that's girl, a girl right? yeah. yeah. A girl, girl point. When you pick up a set of this one, I've never heard of before. When you pick up a set of keys, do you grab it by the round end, boy, or the long end, girl? <laughs> oh, no that's ridiculous. And if you pick up the key in the middle, you're having twins. I feel like we can't... We, we shouldn't, like, gratify this one with an answer because it just is too ridiculous yeah, for yeah. me. Look next. <laughs> uh, next one. Have I had any pregnancy dreams about having a girl? If yes, then it's a boy. And if no, then it's a girl. <laughs> I haven't had any pregnancy dreams no. about having a boy or a girl. So I don't think we can answer that one. Okay. And then the last questions. <laughs> Karen's saying Johnny hairiness is tied to testosterone. Oh, okay. So that's why oh, if I was wow. hairier than normal, it would they would think it's a boy. Huh. 
Hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Carrie's saying, who came up with these myths? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've never that's heard a, of that. That's a good question, That Carrie. key one. <laughs> good question. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so what was, before we found out, what was our intuition? What did we think it was before we actually found out from the scan? Unless to be honest. Yeah. As a, a boy, yeah. So Johnny, Johnny, um, well, we'll tell you more about the name story, like how we, we're not going to tell you the name, but we'll tell you the story of how we chose the name. And um, yeah, Johnny had heard from the Lord about the name. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so he was very sure that it would be a boy. Mm -hmm. And I, because of that, also thought it would be a boy. Um, but there was a part of me that was like, we can't settle on a name before we've even had a scan to see whether it's a boy or a girl. And there was a part of me that thought it might it might be a girl. Mm. So are we ready to do the reveal? Okay, so, okay. now you can do those <coughs> drum roll emojis, eh? <laughs> yeah. So you can put the lid on that, and then we are going to pop all the ones that are the wrong Someone color. Someone do a drum roll emoji. I don't see... I don't see any comments anymore. Are people still here? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Drum roll. Here we go. Chantal says, here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Are we going to attack all the balloons? <laughs> There's all the drum there rolls. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thanks, guys. And three, two, two one. one. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> yeah. Woo. <laughs> it takes a while to see the comments, so I'm like speaking into the void. But yeah, everyone thought it was going to be a girl, but it is a boy, even with my girl-shaped tummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suppose we'll only know for 100% sure when it comes out, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but every time there's been a scan, they've been very sure that it is yeah. a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're having a baby boy, potentially in May, mm -hmm. but you never really know when a baby's coming. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> someone's saying I could, uh, Celestina is saying I could tell by Johnny's eyes <laughs> when you were saying, I thought it was a boy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So now you know we are having a baby boy. Mm. And I think we should answer some of the other questions now. But do you want to say how you feel about having a boy? Yeah, I am really excited. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Jesus. You were really hoping it would be a boy. I was really hoping it would be a boy. And um I was telling Johnny, but if it if it does end up being a girl, you're gonna make a really good girl dad too. So you don't mm -hmm. need to worry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I really wanted a boy, but um yeah, um yeah, someone if you know, like you know, we could play sport together and uh you know um girls can play sport. I know they can. Yeah. <laughs> I know they can. Yeah, but he just was <laughs> looking forward to having a son. So, yeah. And I, you know, I think it would be fun to have a, a daughter, but I just wanted the baby to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And I was very happy to have a boy as well. <laughs> um, oh, so, Connie's also, Connie Ennis is saying, I had boys and my tummy was more wide and not sticking out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's answer some other questions. What are the other questions? Yeah. Um, people were asking, oh, we've already said about the due date, beginning of May. I'm 29 weeks along. Um, and maybe we should talk about name. So we won't reveal the name now, but last year I was reading in the Bible and I came across a name in the Old Testament and I was like, this would be a cool name if we ever end up having a boy. Mm -hmm. And um, so I sent Johnny a voice note um, as I was driving. <laughs> Just record, put it down. <laughs> and um, and I said to him, like, don't you think this would be a really nice name if we ended up having a boy? Mm -hmm. But, um, and I wasn't even pregnant at this point. We didn't have any immediate plans at that point either. And Johnny, what, is, what did you think with that well, name suggestion? I didn't like it at all because <laughs> I'd grown up with a, um, a, uh, a, a boy 
who had that name. So my experience of that name was 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 not particularly nice. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so your initial thought, he was like, ah, it's not a terrible name, but I uh, don't really like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I think even before I was pregnant, Johnny had a dream. Like he, well, he got woken up in the night. Well, no. Um, how so, did it happen? Well, it was actually like during the day. Um, oh. Like the Lord spoke to me very, very, very clearly about this particular name and um, and what, you know, like um, our, our son would would like be like. And um, and how like... How did you feel when you heard that, when you didn't like the well, name at that point? Well, I didn't like the name at, at that point, but... You know, but the Lord completely changed my like perspective. It's amazing how we can do that. So I got really <laughs> excited about the name because he gave me a lot of insight into what this particular person was like. Yes, Johnny's trying so hard not to, uh, yes, not Chantal. to say the name, yeah, because yes. he's so used to just saying it. Yes, Chantal. Yes, Chantal. Very true. I thought it was fun to keep some kind of surprise, so that's yeah. why we're trying to keep the name a surprise. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, the Lord completely changed my like perspective, and I went from being <laughs> Not stoked with the name too, super amped about the name. And so. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so then you got excited. I wonder if we should give them like a small clue of like. Which, <laughs> of like uh, then we're just going to end up saying, so we must either say it or not say it. But I think we should just leave it. You can have a little bit of anticipation for when the announcement of our baby coming happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. And that was before the I even knew I was pregnant. So Johnny was so excited about the name then that he was going around and telling all our friends the name of <laughs> yeah. the name of our son when I wasn't even pregnant. It's like, Ooh. oh, the Lord's told me what we're going to call our son. <laughs> yeah, how's that? Eh? And I was like, okay, but we don't. And then when we were pregnant, he's like, well, when we found out uh, I was pregnant, I started telling all the people again about um, what we're going to name our son, and we don't even know if it's. So I was like, we should just wait for the scan and see that it's definitely a boy. It could have been for a future child's name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, so that's the story. And um, the the middle name also. Um, the middle name was. It's also a name that we, that's also from the Bible. Yeah, that we actually didn't expect. We actually had an idea. And then the Lord woke me up in the middle of the night and told me to go to the lounge. You had the idea, the original idea. I had the original idea of the second name, <laughs> but he woke me up and made it clear to me that we should name him. The second name should be very different. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I'll... I like, I liked, I really liked yeah. it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, someone's asking about harp versus guitar. Okay. You're keeping track of yeah. where, when your lessons are. What about harp versus guitar? Is our baby going to play harp or guitar? And how soon are we going to try teaching them to play? No, that's a good question, eh? And yeah, so I think it was Katarina who said, never mind about boy versus girl, harp versus guitar. <laughs> well, like, uh, how about both? Yeah, that's, I mean, I think that's great. So, yeah, we don't, what we're thinking when it comes to our child being musical is they will be exposed to music and there'll be a love for music in the house. And if they end up not being interested or not being musical, we will love them anyway. Mm -hmm. So they but won't be any forcing. we would like forcing. to have a family band. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that will be awesome. Right? So it'll be cool if we can. And if they end up loving music, wonderful. But there will be no like forcing and making the child do something they don't want to do when it comes to music. So. What do you think? Is that a good description? Yeah, I mean, we don't want to force them. I mean, um, <laughs> you know, you know, most students who I teach and, you know, their parents force them, they're kind of not, if you know, their heart's not really in it. So hopefully yeah. he would like, he would be drawn to either one of them or, or maybe, maybe, both. maybe, maybe drums. Play a bit or something of both like that. Or, yeah, if he can play drums. That would be cool. So then he can, you know, be a part of our life. Of our family we can band. have a family band sooner. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, so, so cool. I wanted to show you guys a little bit closer the scan that I had put in the thumbnail for this live stream because when I saw the scan and the um, doctor told me, oh, this, the, you know, they point out what is what on the scan, and they and he just chose all the photos to print out. So we had this long, like long thing of all the printouts of the scans and he's saying like oh there's a healthy brain and here you can see his face and he's sucking his thumb or whatever and then when he got down to this one he said and here you can see his hands and I looked at it and I was like 
Oh my goodness, he's playing air harp. <laughs> so this is his hands. Let's see if it focuses. Oh, I don't think it's focusing so nicely. Let's see. I feel like I need to cover our faces. <laughs> it's not working so well. But anyway, so I'll have to share a photo somewhere. Maybe I'll put it on the community tab. But this is his one hand. Oh, I'm trying to point. And there's his thumb at the top over there. Here, let me point with my oh, finger. Oh, that's his thumb. That's his hand. And then the other behind, that's oop, the other hand over here. So you can see his thumbs are up and he looks like he's playing a harp. So this is just, this is a scan of only his hands. So I don't know if you can understand that, but <laughs> anyway, so he's already practicing harp in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> So he's going to have a... a um, That's amazing, yeah. <laughs> he has a, a little bit of a head start with playing harp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whichever is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, but there's just so many people who said such lovely things like, um, congratulations on the wonderful news, wishing you a pregnancy that brings you good health, joy, and excitement as you get ready to sh welcome your new baby. Best wishes. That was Lindy Honey, Linda Honeycutt. Um, and then Betsy Moody said, Hi, Christy Lynn, what exciting news. Congratulations. You're about to start on one of the most amazing and wonderful journeys in life. I have two adult children and two grandchildren. Enjoy every minute. There's just so many people saying such lovely things. Um, <laughs> and Aileen even offered to, um, if we need a nanny, she said, I would love to take care of that little harpist. <laughs> yeah. oh, so sweet. And people saying they had tears in their eyes when they got the news. So, oh, it's so lovely. Oh, it's Let's so see good. if there's any other questions. Um, can we expect some lullaby arrangements in the near future? Baby mine would be especially lovely. I have actually wanted to do lullabies on the harp for quite a long time and when we do the voting for courses I'm always like hoping that you know Brahms Lullaby or the Blue Danube or those kind of ones will come up and maybe we can do like a medley of mm -hmm. lullaby songs but they never been they haven't been getting enough votes so we always um we, we want to put out courses and song arrangements that people want to learn so if you vote for lullabies then I will very happily, we will very happily teach them at Learning the Harp. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I suppose in the meantime, I can just play lullabies anyway, even if we don't make courses from it. Um, and then Chantal was saying that in the Netherlands, that it's normal to have uh, for people to have home births um, with the help of a specially trained, trained nurse. What is it like in South Africa? Mm -hmm. So... Um, Someone saying, I'm sorry, I missed this live. We're still live. We're still here. You didn't we're miss still, it. Yeah, we're still live. <laughs> um, in South Africa, it's not very common to have home births, but we are hoping to have one. So mm. we've been going to a midwife. We've got a doctor lined up if we're not able to have a home birth. Mm -hmm. um, or if anything goes wrong, we'll just transfer to the hospital right away. So it's not very normal. Most people have hospital births in South Africa. But I just thought, you know, if there's nothing wrong, then why not be in, in a relaxed environment in our own home? Oh. And um, we'll see how it goes. So I'll have a checkup at 36 weeks to see if I'm on track for a home birth. And then we'll see after that. Um, yeah, we have a lovely midwife and she's, we've been, oh, that's the other thing is we've been doing these antenatal classes. Someone said oh. they chuckled when they saw me saying that because they don't call it antenatal classes in America. They call it prenatal classes. Oh, prenatal. Yeah, that so kind of makes more it's sense. Not, it's not a class that is against Prenatal babies. sounds a lot, <laughs> prenatal sounds like a lot more. That makes more sense. Yeah, so we've been learning a lot. And what's your experience of going to those classes been like overall, learning all that stuff and seeing the photos? <laughs> Honestly, it's been really intense. Like um, <laughs> what a woman goes through in birth is like, it's like, it's a next level intense. I mean, many of you who have given birth, it's like, wow, sheep. It's like, I, I would imagine a very supportive husband would be amazing. So that's my goal is to be as supportive as I can. Oh. to to like help Chrissy Lynn because it's going to be wow intense but I think also how the woman's body just naturally 
just you know um yeah. looks after the baby yeah looks after the Pretty baby incredible, and, and it's, hey? it's crazy like wow my word like yeah so but i'm glad we're doing it now so that when she does give birth it's it's not overwhelming so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you saw some um quite intense photos in yeah, the slides some really intense photos yeah <laughs> that was quite shocking so i mean like of a very very high intensity so <laughs> Yeah. So you'll be slightly less shocked when you see a yeah, baby coming out yeah, of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then some people were asking about how it will affect things at Learning the Harp. Um, it's very sweet. Someone says, I'm so looking forward to the how to practice course that's planned, and I hope it's not postponed. We have no plans to postpone that. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been specifically planning things so that um, our next six-week program on, on practice will be done well in time before my baby comes. Mm -hmm. So we've had to work very hard to get that mm -hmm. ready on time. Um, so that shouldn't be affected by um, me having a baby. Uh, but in general, with learning the harp for quite a few years now, we've been we've been knowing that one day I would like to have a family mm -hmm. and that if we plan the whole of learning the harp around my time and everything being reliant on me, that that would be either not sustainable or it wouldn't be, yeah, it just wouldn't be sustainable. So we've been planning for this for a long time by building a whole team around me. We've brought Carrie on board. We want to add more harp teachers at some point. So um, we've prepared for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And so there will still be monthly courses. Um, there will still be YouTube videos, probably less YouTube videos. And you won't see me when I'm on um, maternity mm -hmm. leave in the YouTube videos. But um there will still even be six-week programs um, run by Carrie when I'm gone. And so I think probably the experience for you will feel pretty similar. You just won't see me in YouTube videos or in comments for a little while. So in South Africa, when it comes to maternity leave, it's a legal requirement that workplaces have to allow at least unpaid leave for four months. So four months maternity leave is normal in South Africa, but depending on the workplace, um, some people don't get paid during that time, but they have to at least be given the time off and that their job will still be mm. there for them when they're done. Um, so we're that's what we are doing. I'm going to be off for four months. So four it's months, quite yeah. a long time, which is a wonderful thing to um, just, yeah, get used to life with my mm. baby. Ooh, yeah. And we haven't exactly figured out how long Johnny will take off. Yeah. There's no legal requirement to give paternity leave. Mm -hmm. um, and Johnny works for himself. So when he's not working, he won't be making an income at all. Mm -hmm. um, so we're still figuring that out. Yeah. But um, yeah, when I come back, I probably won't work. I'm not planning to work full time. But I think we've been streamlining behind the scenes stuff. So hopefully you will still see me. A very similar amount in front of the camera mm. and in co running courses like six week programs and things like that so yeah we've got a whole team thankfully it's not all reliant on me <laughs> um yeah i wonder if there's any remaining questions let us know in the comments we've got a couple minutes like a few minutes left before johnny has to go to his students um so uh, Chantal was asking, is Johnny pampering you with lots of tea and biscuits in the morning? <laughs> yeah. Well, well Johnny, does, Johnny does the, most of the cooking in our house. So, And that's not even just since I've been pregnant. So I get very spoiled by Johnny when, when I'm not even pregnant. <laughs> um, so normally when, when it comes to tea in the morning, I normally wait till I get to work to have my tea. Um, but Johnny has been doing a lot of things to look after me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real pleasure, a real privilege. Eh? Mm. <laughs> he wants me to rest and mm -hmm. I've been doing doing my best to rest as much as I can. Yeah, Chris Dillon is a very is a highly productive person. So um so sometimes that uh, I have to say to my love, you need to go and rest on the couch. <laughs> so often, often uh, she is uh, instructed to go and rest on the couch. So yes. Yeah. Like I, I um on the weekends I want to sew or I want to do lots of productive fun things like that, and then I don't always have the energy. Yeah, so then, sadly. but I've been pretty good at listening to my body and not sewing when I don't have the energy. Yeah, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have been resting a lot, so you don't have to be worried about me. Um, 
Yeah, and nursery theme. Someone asked about the oh, nursery. Yeah, the so nursery. we don't call it nursery. In, in South Africa, when you say nursery, we're referring to where you buy plants. Huh. But we would call it like a baby room, right? We would just say the baby room. Um, the baby will room, the baby yeah. room have a theme? What oh, colors will you use? That's such a good, those are such good questions. I think we have no idea, hey? Yeah. Well, so far, the only plan with the baby room is to try and get all the guitars out of it. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have a two-bedroom place, and the second room is where Johnny's been teaching guitar from home, but he's been moving to teaching here, where I, mm -hmm. I do learning the harp. Mm -hmm. um, and the students that are near our home, he's just going to go to the I'd probably go to their houses. Yeah. Um, so he has been gradually moving his studio things across, but oh. we need to speed that up so we can have yeah. some space to yeah, store true. baby things. True. Um, but we're not really, we don't have big plans on like painting the walls and decorating it like yeah. a very baby room, right? We, Honestly, we're quite chilled. <laughs> haven't even given it what like like one thought. Like that's <laughs> yeah, so so I think the theme will be. It will have baby things in it, the things that we need. So I'm sure there'll be a place to change nappies and to hopefully a chair to um, feed baby and a cot. Um, mm. Although in the beginning, I'm thinking that the baby will sleep in the next to our bed with us. Mm. So, yeah, no big plans for a <laughs> nursery theme. But who knows? Maybe I'll get really inspired towards the end of my pregnancy and suddenly need to make everything look Mm -hmm. Very cute. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know if there's uh someone was asking, will we share pictures of the baby or will we keep them private? I think we'll probably share mm. share a picture, you know, just as news, like, yeah, your baby came. <laughs> but we're not planning to be like a vlogging family where we're constantly having Johnny and the and the babies on. On camera, most likely not. Yeah. So I don't think there'll be a but lot you never of baby know. content. You never know. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Um... I don't think there's going to be a lot of baby on this YouTube channel. I think we would mostly like to keep our private life a bit more private. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm sure we'll share a photo or two here and there. But I'm sure we'll let you know when, like, um, uh, he starts playing the harp or the guitar. Oh huh? uh, yeah, then maybe maybe yeah. I have to do some. Whatever that or something. is. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much most of what people were asking. Um, someone gave us some scary, scary, some scary truths about parenting. <laughs> that's how. So Glenda put um, people's questions into categories so that I could see like um, what you know different types of questions people are asking. And some people were like, you know, it's going to be hard, which I I'm sure it. It will be, and it's true. Um, but they were very sweet about it. So uh, Olga said, "Being a parent is never easy, but I'm sure you'll be great parents. Your baby is lucky with you. Hope you'll enjoy this difficult but important and so amazing mm. journey. With thanks for everything you do." And she also said, "Like what wonderful news! My best wishes to you and your family." Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think we um, are expecting that it won't be all smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. Um, we've heard a lot about how difficult it is and how we're going to be up in the night feeding. And I know breastfeeding doesn't always come uh, easily or pain-free. Um, and I'm hoping that I can breastfeed. So, yeah, we're we're prepared that it's going to be hard and our lives will never be the same. But we're also excited. And mm. um, we're going to be in it together. So, mm. Yeah. Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> Chantal saying, babies, was that a slip of the tongue? As far as I know, there's only one baby inside mm. me. <laughs> um, maybe a harp guitar. Yeah, true. Mm. We've, we've never tried one of those. I actually but... saw one of those recently. You showed me one. Yeah. Like like a, a, a YouTube video, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. With all those extra strings in the bottom, it would be very cool if we could um, mm -hmm. try one of those sometime. But um, someone's saying, oh, juice and milk is better. What, better than? Oh, tea. <laughs> and um, Julie Jones is suggesting that I should put my feet up as I'm further on in pregnancy. Yeah, mm -hmm. my feet have got a little bit sore, so I'm just wearing very supportive shoes. 
-hmm. but there hasn't been much swelling. So if the swelling comes, I'll remember that, Julie. Um, do you plan on playing Baby to Sleep with harp music? I used to play classical guitar for my son when he was a baby. As sleep therapy, when he was 19, he started playing guitar himself. Should come forward. You, it feels like you're in the background. I'm, I'm in the background. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Is that better? Um, I'm sure I'll play the harp for baby a little bit. Are you planning to play guitar? Yeah. Play guitar for him? Definitely at some point. Yeah. 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 Um, and I think we'll have some music that we can play, like recordings. I don't think we have any recordings of lullabies on the harp, but hmm. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, so I think that's pretty much all we wanted to chat about. We wanted to let you know that it's a boy. A boy, yeah. <laughs> and that we're excited and that, um, yeah, very thankful for all your very kind wishes and being excited for us. Um, I wasn't quite sure how people would react to mm -hmm. hearing the news, but it's been very sweet and positive mm -hmm. and encouraging. So thank you, everybody. Yeah, thanks for all the all the uh, the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Has it been fun being on a live stream? It's been really fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's been really fun. Some people are asking if they can send us some presents. That is so sweet. No, so really I think fun. the best way would be for you to send them to learning the harp. Eh? Yeah, email hello at learningtheharp.com. We do have a, I think we might have, we definitely did have a PO box at one point. If we don't, we'll have to get Glenda to make a plan for how we can, <laughs> if you really want to. Yeah, because we can't, we can't give them the address. They might show up at our house. Uh -huh. <laughs> But yes, I'm sure there's a way that we can, that's very sweet. Don't feel any obligation to send us anything. But if you want to find out about that, you can email hello at learningtheharp.com. And um, David said, get a lap harp. <laughs> we do have a, um, a lap harp and a couple, couple more maybe that will appear in the near future yeah. on the channel. So I think we'll have some many choices for when we do decide to... Um, let little baby try the harp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to see, like, uh, what he's in. Yeah, what he likes, eh? Guitar, harp. Maybe he doesn't like any of this. Yeah, maybe he'll sing. Maybe he'll sing. Bass would be helpful for our family band. <laughs> yeah, bass. Yeah, we are like bass and drums. And if he doesn't, if he's not musical, he doesn't like music, then it's always nice to have someone in the audience mm. or manning the merch table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, mm. we don't need to be touring around the world or anything like that, but yeah. it will just be fun to share our love of music and we'll see what happens. Um, sound, sound engineer. engineer. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, mm. Johnny could teach him. Yeah. Mm. Sound engineer. Yeah. Keyboard. Yeah. That's a good idea too. Keyboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keyboard. I could teach them keyboard. Johnny could teach guitar and bass. Bass and sound engineering. Ukulele. Yeah, ukulele. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I <laughs> they laugh, I think they're laughing at you being like not still not super enthusiastic about ukulele. <laughs> yeah, you do like it a lot more than you did before. Well, I was playing a teeny little one, and it just it just didn't sound great. And then I got a bigger one, and it sounded a whole lot better. So, so yeah. you like ukulele better than you did in our yes, previous. Yes, but it's got nothing on guitar. So. <laughs> Yeah, so guitar is awesome. I enjoy guitar. Are you going to be like nudging your ukulele players towards guitar? Because he does Definitely. have some ukulele students. Definitely. I mean, four little strings, you know, you know, like anyway. But but yeah, yeah, you know, like once you get into it, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff. But That's true. I think it's it's a lot about like I think if you get like a tenor, which is the bigger one, mm. that one sounds much fuller. It basically just looks bigger. Um, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, because I think you've you've got a little soprano one, which sounds like a teeny little one. He doesn't like yeah. my ukulele. Yeah. If you go back on my channel to back in the day, you can see me playing yeah. ukulele and singing, and I think it sounds cool, but Johnny's not a fan of the tiny, tiny Yeah, one. I like stuff that sounds big. That sounds <laughs> epic. Yeah. Oh, that's a good reminder. Someone was saying, congrats to the grandparents. Is this their first? Um, and that reminded me, I knew there was one more question I wanted to answer that I saw in the chat. Um, and that was about cousins. Um, uh, so on yeah. my side of the family, both my sisters have had baby boys over the past two years. So Kara's, 
Kara and Kevin's little baby, Jacob, is turning two in April. Mm -hmm. And Megan has little baby Luca. Megan and Slavin have Luca uh, in Croatia. And he is he was one in November. Mm -hmm. And then our baby is coming probably May. So there'll be about two years between them. And mm. I think it'll be so lovely for them to have him to have cousins and yeah, it will be great. We are excited for this next Christmas because Megan and her family are coming to visit from Croatia. So the cousins can be together mm -hmm. and um, yeah, that's going to be great. But um, on your side of the family, it is the first grandchild. Yes. On my side of the family, it definitely is. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, his parents are excited mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Definitely. Johnny's dad gets tears in his eyes when he, mm -hmm. even when he just sees the two of us together, he's like, oh, it's a miracle that Johnny found such a wonderful wife. <laughs> yeah, Jeepers. I'm, 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 I'm very blessed. I really am. <laughs> and so I'm, I think they're very excited about baby as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Teach them how to use the pot. Do you mean like the potty? Like. I think so. <laughs> That probably is a more important life skill than instruments, right? Oh, uh, yes, potty training to your old granddaughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think it's time for us to end so Johnny can get to his yeah. guitar students. But thank you so much, everybody, for your questions and your excitement and your support mm -hmm. and for being here with us. It's been really fun. And, um, yeah, maybe we must do another live stream at some point. Mm. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. Sure. That'd be cool. Have a good rest of your day. Have a fantastic rest of your, of your day. Cheerio, everybody. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.